Welcome to Darth Hawk Gaming. If you type in wizardbane.com, it goes to the publisher's website that will be selling this game. And you see right here, the designer, that's me, Darth Hawk Gaming, yay, has designated this game as not for sale at the present time. Now, I announced yesterday that Wizard Bane would be for sale today. And that's what I wanted to do, and I contacted the publisher today. I'm like, okay, let's let's sell the game. And uh, there's, and they told me, yeah, well, we we can do that. We could do that right now. We recommend you wait just a few more days because um, they're doing some quality control stuff. And I've been working with them doing quality control a lot for like the past two months. Um, and. Uh, but they're just like, just give us a few more days. Or you could go ahead and start selling it now, but we recommend just a few more days. And uh, so I, it was up to me, and so I decided, okay, let's just wait a few more days. So before Thanksgiving of next week, Wizard Bane will be available for purchase. So now <clears throat> this game, uh, it plays similar to Battletech. Obviously not Battletech. If you've never heard of Battletech before, never played Battletech, uh, don't worry. You don't need to understand Battletech. You know what Battletech is to play this game. It's just that um, people that play Battletech will notice this gameplay is similar. Okay. Um, but obviously this is an entirely different game. Um, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, so, the little bit of a backstory. Okay, there are nine factions, kingdoms, houses in this game, and you can create your own characters and assign them to one of these factions or, or kingdoms. And the three main ones are the Wizards Council, the New Dawn, and the Vampire Heretic Clan. Now, the New Dawn, they essentially want a revolution. Uh, they want to abolish magic, make it illegal, get rid of it. So, yeah. They are the bane of all wizards, hence the name Wizard Bane. Uh, the Wizards Council is its own faction, but, uh, you know, they, they're trying to deal with the situation diplomatically. But they're also pragmatic. They realize it's probably not going to happen. Um, not going to be able to find a peaceful solution, so they are in the background trying to set up a multi-kingdom coalition uh, to militarily deal with the New Dawn. And then we have the Vampire Heretic Clan in the shadows in the background watching what's going on and their leader Kyrissa thinks this is a good time to attempt to take over the world. Okay? <clears throat> so that's the backstory. And there are six more kingdoms, houses, uh, and most of them, not all of them, uh, offer perks, certain perks, certain gameplay enhancements to characters that are members of these factions or kingdoms. Okay. <clears throat> so here is a, a simple setup of the game, just a simple setup. Uh, this game comes with four boards. This image shows two, <coughs> excuse me, side by side. Now, uh, each board has terrain, hex-based terrain on one side, and then the other side is blank with hexes. And that is so, uh, players want to, they can create their own maps. So the game also comes with 42 terrain hex pieces that are double-sided. There's terrain on different terrain on each side, except for water. The water terrain hexes have water on both sides. But anyway. Uh, so this is like a, shows a terrain setup with using the terrain hexes. <clears throat> and here's a character sheet with, uh, an equipment card on it. Uh, and the cards are for like special equipment because there's, here, let's, uh, so you can equip your characters with standard readily available equipment that's, yeah, in high supply, you know, just regular, regular equipment. And then there is rare, exotic, or enchanted equipment, weapons and shields. 
things like that that you can equip your characters with but there's a limited amount so there's this game comes with some equipment cards and um, so not everybody is going to be able to have them <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, and when your characters start out they're you know th this is an RPG when you start out you're going to be like Luke Skywalker who doesn't know anything on Tatooine being a moisture farmer where a uh, hostile Jawa could take him out, basically. That's, you're going to start out, um, yeah. Uh, but you can level up. Yes, you can play games. Uh, you can perform, uh, it's called feats in the rulebook. And uh, perform certain actions during a game will give you experience points. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, each character starts out with renown. Now, renown can be upgraded when your characters level up. If they survive gameplay, the more renown a character has, the more equipment they can bring into battle. A character with a high renown value may be able to start with a full set of armor and that exotic or enchanted weapon itching to try out against your friends. There are traits you can add to your character upon leveling up, make them more proficient with their weapon of choice, turn them into a stealthy assassin, or add new spells to their arsenal, or save points to accumulate level up later. Oh, and then vampires. So vampires are, uh, they're different. Now, Wizard Bane, this is something I've been working on for like 20, 22 and a half months to get to this point. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, I uh, haven't done any crowdfunding. Uh, and uh, I'm not saying crowdfunding is bad. I'm not saying you shouldn't do crowdfunding. Uh, I'm just saying I haven't done it in this situation. Uh, and I have paid uh, various artists. I have also created my own art in the game. Uh, but yeah, so vampires, again, um, Wizard Brain is its own universe. This is not based on D&D &D at all. Um, its own thing. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, vampires, they're going to operate some of what you're used to, but, you know, they're also going to have their own unique flair in this game. For example, a character who is a vampire receives some health points each turn from their underlings, or characters they've turned into vampires. Now, <clears throat> vampires themselves, um, they lose health points, a little bit of health point, a little bit of health points uh, each turn in the game. So in the, in the game, uh, there's movement phase, combat phase, end phase, and you start, you know, next turn has its own movement phase, combat phase, end phase. You just go on and on until uh, the conditions for the scenario you create are met, or, you know, everybody else beside your characters are dead. Uh, so this is uh, fantasy RPG squad-based combat. <clears throat> now, um, so... Vampire minions, people that have been turned into vampires, they're going to be losing a little bit of health each, at the beginning of each turn, just for being a vampire. And then they give up some more of their health to their master vampire. So, that puts them in a position where they need to maybe try to seek out their own, and turn people into vampires, and then they are the master vampire people they turned into vampires or just attack someone and suck them dry and get like a, a lump sum like a one time payment of health points um, but yes vampires um, so they have that curse but uh, a master vampire can it can take a while um, you're not going to be able to create a vampire and then all of a sudden they're Superman or Supergirl. It doesn't work that way. It's going to take a while to get to the point where um, you are a, if you're a vampire, you are a force to be reckoned with. Um, but yeah, it's an RPG game. And uh, it's designed for you to create your own scenarios, create your own encounters, follow the rules of the game. Uh, <laughs> okay. So thanks for watching this video. I remember to play games, remember to make games, and have fun.